Okay, KK party people, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are back with something very, very cool. Just got these at Target. Figured I'd grab them and do a little show and tell. I'm gonna make this kind of quick because I don't think these are very much different from what we've seen before. Maybe just different outfits. They just they just switched the outfits up like we're playing with Barbies. If you don't already know, this is the dynamic duo, the power couple, the Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, the Beyonce and Jay-Z, the Michelle and Barack of the Avatar franchise. <laughs> if I may. We've got Jake, Sully, and Neytiri. So we're gonna free the boy first. I am excited about this and I'm still very excited about the movie. I I just can't wait. The only thing that really comes in the box is your stand outside of the accessories. And for the accessories, we have a dagger again, like an ax, hatchet, tomahawk looking thing, and a little pion pion, prow, prow. And Mr. Jake, you are free. Look, he came out flexing already. Ooh. And there's the pion pion. Now, since the movie hasn't come out yet, I don't know how accurate or if any of this is accurate at all. Movie accurate, that is. Uh, we've got the dagger with that same sheath that it's definitely gonna fall out of. And then the little choppy choppy that actually looks kind of serious and I'd hate to get hit with the pokey end of that. Okay, so first looks, it was my suspicion that they would just be the exact same uh, head mold and hair and all of those things, but I'm already, we're already seeing that it did switch the hair up. Hair is actually uh, a little longer on the new one with a little hair tie. No sideburn dreadlocks uh, on the new one as we had on the old one. I'm sure they're not sideburns, but you know, little locks hanging down in front of his ears. Face sculpt actually to me looks a little bit, a teeny bit different. He might, I don't know, maybe a little, a little older, a little more mature, a little narrower, a little boxier. Cool, cool. So let's put, let's put the OG back and talk about this. So he's got some, he's got some tactical webbing here. Different loincloth on this one, still the same uh, soft rubber. Won't really get in the way of any posing. Uh, just one set of hands, looks like one uh, grabby hand for perhaps his dagger. And his right hand is for holding his pion pion. We're not gonna get into all the points of articulation. There are 22 of them. The elbows and knees are pinned double joints, but you already know how they all move, so we're not going that far into them. Let's get this machine gun in this hand, see how that looks. And there it is. Grips nicely, trigger fingers in the well. Very cool. You can see all the details, the forearm uh, strapping, the arm bands uh, around his neck. Looks like he has some tactical comms equipment but this is nice yo again not going to dive too deep into it because we've really seen it before he's just in a different dress different accessories and a slightly different face sculpt correct me if i'm wrong let me know if i'm seeing things but that that looks like a different face from the from the first one all right moving on to the bell of the ball natiri let's get him posed up back here so it looks like they did put out another banshee for this movie if my eyes aren't deceiving me and they actually did i don't think i'm going to be too interested in getting that one just because we have both of the banshees from the first movie however i do want that that new flying animal i don't know what, what, what was it called river skipper ocean flapper a scatty zipper a skim wing i think i might want a skim wing if we can figure out a place to put it comment below have you gotten the skim wing yet if you did how do you like it how does it compare to the banshee i also wouldn't mind having oh boy with that paint on his face i think it said like tonawari or something i don't know if that's homeboy's name or if that's the name of like his people you know the the navi the tonawari i don't know but let's just call him tony short for tonawari we'll call him tony i want tony with the paint on his face that looks like a dope one. I haven't seen it in Target, but I think I have seen it on Amazon. So at some point, perhaps. But 
these two and Tonawari and the and the skim wing looks like all I'm gonna really want from this set. I'm sure I'll appreciate and love everything else that McFarlane puts out for these, but you know, I gotta save room for all the other the DC stuff and the Halo stuff and the Marvel stuff and classic movie stuff, Ghostbusters and Jaws and all the other stuff. Well, let me stop. This is Neytiri. Let's see her compared to OG Neytiri. Girls, girls, girls. So what do you think? That actually looks like the same face sculpt to me. Let's see the side. So consistent with Sully, the hair on the new one is a little bit longer. Different little outfit, loincloth is different. Neck dress is different. One set of hands with these, open grippy hand on the right, on the left, a closed grip. You could probably fit a dagger in there. Wait, didn't she come with a dagger? Here we go, dagger hand, better to shank you with. Open grip hand for this new bow style weapon that she has. So bow holding hand, or maybe burrito, a taco holding hand. I think it's perfect for a taco. Again, with this one, not really gonna dive too deep into it. We've seen all these points of articulation. They are all the same from the models before these. I will show you that head though real quick. Not really gonna look up too far. She can look down, but that hair is gonna flop up. We'll just keep it level like that. Dang, these do look good though, man. Wow. I like the green and orange color on the blue on her neck dress. Oh, check it out. It's got a little dagger sheath, a little shank holder. But homies, that's going to be it for these. I told you I was going to keep it short, and I am going to stick to that. These are our new Avatar, the Way of Water figurines from McFarlane Toys. They are dope, and naturally, they've got me um, even more excited about seeing the movie. Kate and I can't wait until it comes out. We might even paint ourselves all blue to go see this movie, throw some dreadlock wigs on, bring some full body length bow and arrow. Again, I'm really liking these. Y'all comment below. Let me know what you think about them. Are there any changes you would make? We'll see when the movie comes out how accurate these are. Even if they're not, honestly, like I'm not that much of a stickler for collector's items and their movie accuracy. I judge these things, I rate these things, I see them simply based on how good the figure looks. And these look really, really good. Hopefully I will have that Tonawari and Skim Wing soon, and we'll dive right back into Avatar, the way of Walter. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. Remember we love you, we'll see you next time.